Good morning. God be with you today. Thank you for joining us once again for, Trini uh, for our worship video here at Trinity Lutheran Church in Mena, Arkansas. I'm Pastor Tim Henning, and I welcome you. I pray that God is, is richly blessing you, even though we're still in the midst of a global pandemic that has some of you afraid some of you practicing safety at home. Some of you uh, doing the right things, going about your business to keep yourself and others safe. God be with you. Let our prayer be that God would, in his wisdom and providence and sovereignty, remove this this plague, this virus, that he would be with those who are working on a vaccine. God be with us and bless us. Let us pray. Faithful God, whose mercies are new to us every morning, we humbly pray that you would look upon us in mercy and renew us by your Holy Spirit. Keep safe our going out and our coming in. And let your blessing remain with us throughout this day. Preserve us in your righteousness and grant us a portion in that eternal life, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When I was in the Army, I served eight years as active in reserve in the Army as a chaplain's assistant. As a chaplain's assistant, I helped the, the unit chaplain out. I was his bodyguard. I set up for services. I prepared the bulletin. I did everything that a, a pastor does uh, or a secretary does. Uh, one reason that I really decided to go into the ministry, my three years active duty in the Army. As a soldier, you learn to follow orders. You learn to march. And you learn various techniques in marching. And you can go forward march. One, two, three, four, about face. Literally, you pivot and turn and go the opposite direction. About face. Turn around. That's what today is all about in our readings today. Ezekiel, the Old Testament reading. God tells Ezekiel, Ezekiel, Yet you say, the way of the Lord is not just. Hear now, O house of Israel, is my way not just? Is it not your ways that are not just? When a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice, he shall die for it. For the injustice that he has done, he shall die. Again, when a wicked person turns away from the wickedness he has committed and does what is just and right, he shall save his life. Because he considered and turned away from all the transgressions that he had committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Repent and turn from your transgressions, lest iniquity be your ruin. Cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed, and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. The soul that sins will die. The wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life 
in Christ Jesus our Lord, St. Paul in Romans. Turn, turn away from your sinfulness. Turn away from your pride. Turn away from your self-centeredness. Turn away from all those bad choices that you make in your life. and about face. Turn around and face the cross. Repent of your sins and receive what only Christ can give, the forgiveness of your sins. In the gospel reading today, Jesus tells of a father who had a vineyard and he went and asked his two sons, son, please go and work in my vineyard. The first son said, uh, no, I'm not going to. But later he changed his mind and he went. Went to his second son. Son, go and work in my vineyard today. I will. But later he said, change his mind. Nope, I'm not going. Which of you, which of the two sons did what his father wanted? The first one. Although uh, he didn't immediately say he was going, but changed his mind. He turned and went a different way, the way his father wanted. Repent of your sins. Turn. Turn from those evil ways, those bad choices. Turn from drugs, pornography, alcohol addictions turn and repent and receive what Jesus gives for <coughs> excuse me forgiveness of sins about face you know when I was a, a young young boy one of my first jobs was on paper route and I had my papers, they were wrapped in a, a scroll with a rubber band around. And when I came to the customer's door, thud on the door, it went and it rested on the steps for the resident to pick up when they came out to get it. Whenever I heard my paper boy deliver the paper, thud! I knew the paper, the morning news, was at my doorstep and I had my cup of coffee and I went to get the paper and started the day uh, looking at the news. And most importantly, I had the portals of prayer and God's word uh, with me also. But I, the thump at the door told me that Good news, the news was here. The newspaper was ready for me. John the Baptist came with a message of repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Repent for Jesus is here. Jesus is coming. The message of John the Baptist was about face, dear people. About face. Turn from your sinfulness. Turn from your sins and repent and confess them and receive forgiveness. And be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. About face. About face is what I hold out to you. As you're watching this video and hearing my words today. About face. Turn. Turn. And face Jesus. Put your trust in him as you live your lives in this chaotic world. Trust in him with all your heart, soul, and mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. It's my prayer.
for you. That you turn every day, turn and begin your day with prayer and live in your baptismal grace. For Jesus is coming. We're getting to that point of the church year when our attention will be on the second advent of Jesus, his second coming, where he will gather all the lambs into his bosom and take all believers to our eternal home. Jesus is coming. That's a message we need to uh, put in our hearts and minds every day. Jesus is coming. We need to refocus our lives. Repent. Stop sinning. And trust in God. And love and serve one another. About face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I have a couple announcements before I need to conclude. One is uh, at Trinity Lutheran next Sunday. We will be celebrating LWML Sunday. And we will be collecting mites for mission. We haven't done that since last October because of COVID-19. We will uh, honor the service of women, our own women of Trinity, and collect mites. Now, these mite boxes are new. They got a new design on the front and on the cover. They are on the table. We got extra cases, boxes on the table in the rear of the sanctuary. sanctuary. Please take one. And I know your change on top of your dresser is getting full and overflowing. We haven't collected this for a while. Fill your box up and bring it to church next Sunday. And we want you to put your name on it. And you see my name on there. It's all ready to go. In fact, I have a second box. Maybe you need two boxes. And you can put your pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, half dollars, dollar, gold of dollars, dollar bills, currency. You can even make out a check to Women of Trinity and put mites in the memo. Next Sunday, LWML Sunday, mites for missions. Also, on October 11th, We've been announcing this. We will have our 120th anniversary service at 10 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock Bible class, 10 o'clock worship, and a potluck dinner following. If you're planning on attending, please let us know by calling us at 479-394-1290, or you can call me, Pastor Henning, 479-280-8245. Part of the service that day, we are going to be following the Order of Matins with a hymn sing. And I'm asking you to provide me with your favorite hymns. You have this in the insert as an insert this Sunday, but you can uh, uh, email, you can text me, you can call me with your favorite hymns, and I would like uh, you to do... Uh, that by uh, next Sunday as well, by October 4th, if you could let me know your favorite hymns so I can incorporate them into the worship service on October 11th. Thank you for your patience with me this day. We ask you to put your whole faith and trust in God, and he will bless you, keep you. He will make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. He will lift up his countenance upon you and he will give you peace. Amen.